Residents of northeastern Japan are hearing of new challenges a year and a half after the accident at Fukushima Daiichi. Workers at the nuclear plant are struggling with recurrent problems as they try to decommission the reactors. The reactors have been brought to a state of cold shutdown. The second phase of the plan to bring them under control has been completed. Experts say the temperature and pressure inside the reactors are generally stable. But troubles with the cooling water system have plagued workers. They built a system after the disaster to treat highly contaminated water and then used it to cool the reactors. The operator Tokyo Electric Power Company has reported 56 instances of tainted water leaks. Facilities to decontaminate water have stopped 12 times because of those leaks and because of problems with the power supply. Late last month, coolant water in three reactors temporarily fell below the necessary levels. Workers have also had troubles with facilities and equipment that were in use before the accident. Only 16 of the 41 thermometers in reactor number 2 are working properly. High radiation levels have prevented workers from replacing those that aren't working. Contaminated water levels have continued to rise at a pace of about 400 tons a day, and groundwater is flowing into the reactor buildings. That has filled almost 90% of the plant's storage tanks. The workers plan to add tanks with a total capacity of 470,000 tons to store the water for three years.